What is up everyone, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. Today we're talking Prime 4. No, this is not a Prime 4 Plus, but I definitely wanted to show you how to get the updates done to put some new life in your old Prime 4. And definitely a lot of new updates came we're out. We'll be talking about it in depth in a different video, but this one I just want to show you how to get it done as a tutorial on how to do it via the computer. Now, people are like, why would you do that? It takes a long time. Well, you might have some issues with your Wi-Fi issue that you had where you have to do it manually. So a couple of people asked me how to get it done manually. I like to update these videos, try to make them better. Those types of things, I have done ones in the past, so they're out there, so check those out if you just look up like an older update. But I definitely wanna show you how to do it both ways. I just put a video out on the Prime Go, how to do it via Wi-Fi, which is the easiest way. It's super fast. But just in case you have some issues or you weren't able to, it doesn't pop up uh, to do it via the Wi-Fi or you have some kind of error or something like that, you kind of should know how to do it manually just in case. And this video will help you get that done. So thank you so much for tuning in. It's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews, only trying to help. So thank you so much. If you never tuned into my channel, just know I do all kinds of tech reviews, tutorials, do that research for you so you, do, you don't have to, and then leave some links on some of the products that we go over so you can check them out as well. So thank you so much. If this is helpful all at all, please leave a like, subscribe, or share, and join the Martini Nation, man. We're growing, it's awesome. Thank you to all my subscribers, and let's continue to grow this channel. So thank you so much. Let's get into the Prime 4. We're gonna to go to the laptop first, show you how to get what you need to get going there. Let's talk about it, let's get into it, and let's get it done. All right, so all you have to do is go search. We're gonna go ahead and just search Engine DJ Update, that would work as well. We could go Engine DJ Up, or, or you can look up Prime 4 Update if you want, but Engine DJ would probably be the fastest, and you see desktops and downloads right here. Boom, this will take you directly to the page that you need. Now, in this other video on the Prime Go, which I will leave a link in the description, you can see how to update your desktop, your laptop, your Mac, or whatever. I'll show you how to do that on this side, but we wanna go to the OS side, the firmware updates, and I wanna show you how to do this manually. Now, like I said, you can do it via Wi-Fi, but for some reason it doesn't work even though that's the fastest, easiest way to get it done, if for some reason it doesn't work, it's cool to know how to get it done manually via the corded method from your laptop to your Prime 4. All right, and this is not the new Prime 4 Plus, this is just an older Prime 4, but definitely with these new updates, you're gonna have to do some extra stuff with it, which we'll talk about in a later video as well too. All right, so all you need to do is go to this side right here, the OS side, and we want to search your device so let's just go ahead and scroll down you can see all the devices that you can get the update for but we want that prime 4 and it's not the plus it's just the prime 4 that i have but if you have the prime 4 plus that's awesome for you but i have the prime 4 so we'll go ahead and hit that now do we want to download this for mac the download for a uh, USB stick. You can actually use a USB stick and plug it into the back and it'll do the update as well. But let's just do it through the laptop and we're gonna go ahead and download for Windows right here. Uh, I understand there's a how to update right here for that as well, but I understand right here because I'm gonna show you how to get it done. All right, so let's we have that downloaded it went to my downloads and we can go ahead and kind of close that out we can go to my file explorer where i downloaded or wherever you downloaded it we but know it where it is you just have to find it and now we actually have to go to our prime 4 but what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and open on the laptop right here but it says prime 4 3.1.0 updater right here we're going to go ahead and open that up and then we're just going to leave it there once it opens up uh, it's going to give me a little warning here but we can install anyways because we know it is an okay file have had no issues with engine dj or prime 4 updates at least so give it a little time i'm usually in a rush 
And so I want to double click this, but I'm not going to because I know it is working. It's spinning there. Finally fired up. It took a little bit. If you have any issues and it doesn't open, go ahead and just close it and then try to reopen it again. And it should pop up. So I did have a quick issue where it didn't want to open. So I went ahead and closed it. And then I went back to where I downloaded that file. And you can see here it is right here. So we can go ahead and close everything in the background here. And I have the Prime 4 uploader, uploader ready to go. It has the version down here, the 3.1.0 and we are good to go to go ahead and start on the Prime 4 side. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch camera angles here and we're gonna show you how to get that done. And you can see that I have the Prime 4 in front of me and I know a lot of people are gonna ask, how do you have a white one? Well, you need to check out 12 inch skins. They have a really cool a vinyl layout for this. It was really easy to put on. I didn't even have to take any knobs or anything off. Everything went right over. It looks really, really sharp. It takes a little bit to put on. It was worth it and I think it looks fantastic. So if anybody's asking about the skin, that's what it is, a 12 inch skin wrap vinyl. I'll leave a link in the description for you to take a look at it. I think I did get it on eBay, but you might be able to get it on Amazon as well. All right, back into the video. So you will need the blue cord that did come with your Prime 4. Uh, to get this done these are kind of hard to find so i've had other people ask me to you know leave a link uh, you probably would have to order them i think i did find one if i can find that link i will put it in the description but you definitely need this cord to get this done uh, for this so we're going to go ahead and plug this in now uh, you want to plug in of course this side to your laptop it's just a regular usb and then so everybody can see this again this is the other side a lot of people ask me how do you get a replacement like i said if i can find that link i will put it on there but we're just going to go ahead and plug this in the back here goes right in your usb b slot is what it's called all right so that's plugged in we're going to go ahead and fire this up just fire it up normally like you on would. that side notice i definitely need the update on this and everything's firing up looking fresh we're going to show you how to do this via the laptop though like i said so we were just on the laptop i show you that i had the updater in the background i still have it in the background here it's going to my sources it will connect to wi-fi but like i said we don't want to do that so what i want to do is i want to go ahead and arrow down go to my settings again i want to go to update now it says there is an update available and I could do it via Wi-Fi, but I don't want to do that, okay? So I do want to go into update firmware, okay? And I want to go into reboot mode here. Because if I hit update right there, it's going to automatically update from the web. So I want to do it manually, right? So I want to go to reboot mode right here. Reboot into firmware update mode. Yes, that's what we want to do. So that's where we're going. So like I said, if you hit the other one, it will just do it automatically from the web. And that is easy. That's the easiest way to do it. And that's the way I would recommend doing it over Wi-Fi if you can. But if you cannot, if you had some issues and it didn't work, this is the other way how to do it. So you went into that reboot, reboot firmware mode. So now you can see um, it's in the reboot mode. And it also chimed on my laptop as well. I don't know if you heard that, but it chimed really quick. So we're going to kind of, I'm going to show you both here. So we're on this screen here. We are on the updater screen right here. And what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and just click on start update. Okay. So we're going to hit start update and it is updating right there you can see it going we are updating and it's transferring the information like i said it's doing the same thing that it would over the web except it's going to do it this way from your laptop so you could also like i said do it from a usb stick or a flash drive 
and it would be a little bit different process, but pretty much the same. Basically, or transfer the information that you downloaded from your computer to the stick, and that stick you would just plug in when you're in reboot mode, and it'll start the update. So it's kind of similar. Now it's going to take a little bit. You can see I'm going to make sure I show you all this and try to show you the actual Prime 4 as well. So, all right, it says we're done on this side. I want to show you, you can see that it updated over on this side. When it was done, it shut down and then it turned back on and it went straight to this engine DJ. All right, so it went to the Wi-Fi screen, which is a new screen and you can't shut that off. So it just was automatically going to update. So here it is updating now. So it will do it. You won't be able to mess with that Wi-Fi screen. So I tried to do it, it does not work. So just to let you know, don't get scared. That's just what it does. Now it's updating each and everything. It's gonna flash, turn off a couple times. Doing all the updates I didn't have before which was a few behind, so. Like I said, I haven't been using the Prime 4 lately. I've been using some other controllers, but definitely do love my Prime 4. And then it's a great piece of kit that I will be holding on to. And we're definitely gonna talk about all the updates in another video with the controller. So stay tuned for that video as well. One other thing I wanna make sure it's clear, do not power down your system even though you think you're having issues or anything just let it go even if you have to just walk away from it for a while go ahead and let it go and just let it continue doing updates until it will actually reboot on its own and it should take you back to that main screen which I'll show you now it, that is a new screen that Wi-Fi screen that we had that was kind of locked that was a new screen it wouldn't let me do anything like I said that was because it still was updating so don't let it work so and then on your computer it is done so we can go you can go ahead and exit out of there there is nothing more that we're gonna do with the computer um, just make sure that you leave your cord plugged in until everything is done don't unplug your blue cord back here don't unplug that till everything is done this will take a little bit so I just want to show you the full process that way you know how long it takes and all that kind of good stuff so I'm just gonna let it continue to update like I said mine was a little bit behind so it probably has to update a little bit more than yours is if you do every update this was a really big update so definitely added some really really cool things including some FX, some drop samplers, a lot of fixes, head up, uh, they changed the head up display. So definitely some cool stuff. So don't, don't mind what's going on. Like I said, it's gonna turn off, turn on, do all kinds of weird things. Uh, that locked up screen was weird for me, but yes, it's, it's going to do different light patterns too. Uh, now it just has those lit up. So like I said, it's definitely gonna do all kinds of weird stuff. Just let it do its thing. Like I said, we were done on the laptop side, so it is good for you to go ahead and look up some stuff if you want. So definitely since the 3.0, they definitely added a lot of different features. You should definitely be in the 3.0 version of this for a lot of updates. The 3.1 was a really, really big one. And so we're gonna get really into that but hopefully in a different video because I don't want to make this too long, but I just wanted to show you step-by-step step and how long it takes as well. So this is uh, exactly what you're going to get when you're doing this. And it's been a couple minutes. You walked away. It hasn't turned back on. You can go ahead and try to hit the button in the back and it should fire up, okay? So you hit the bug. It says 3.10. Close that says that sampler content, it's analyzing my drive, it's preparing my internal hard drive, and everything is good to go. We are good to go. Just wanted to show you that everything is good to go. You can start using your Prime 4. All my items came in working good, so 
let's go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Is this helpful at all? Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you really soon when I can go over all the features on this Prime 4. All right, cool. And we'll talk to you really, really soon.